How's it going, HF? And welcome to a brand new edition of the Friday VTV Show. I'm your host, Siddeley Gabriel. We have some wonderful segments planned today, including an update on what's going on around HF and a brand new segment that includes TikTok. If I were you, I definitely not want to miss this show. So sit back, relax, and let's roll that intro. To get things rolling, let's see what our very own HF soccer team is doing, as they will be getting ready for the postseason very soon. The HF soccer team's playoffs are upcoming, and they are winning games and preparing for their playoff matchup. Last Friday, the soccer team beat Bolingbroke by a score of 2-1, and they just beat Marion Catholic by a score of 3-1. The soccer team has a record of 4-9-1, with their last game being a loss to Lockport. Their first playoff regional game is next Friday. The HF soccer team is doing really well, and they are just about ready to show what they can do with the playoffs. Now, let's go talk to a couple players and coaches about their upcoming playoffs and how they feel they will fare. Great role. We started off really slow, but we picked it up and we're about to be a great team. I think we're going all the way. Uh, I definitely think it's a uh, very, um, we haven't competed in a long time, uh, HF history. I think um, for us being seniors, uh, like leaving, like leaving a, leaving a mark on HF history. I think we just got to keep playing how we play, you know. We beat Bolingbrook, we got Marion, Lockport's next. I mean, you know, just keep that work. So I have a really, really tough conference coming up. Right? We have a couple games, including Lockport, a Sandberg game, and uh, Lincoln Way East. If we can manage to, to stay in the, in the mix for it, we'd be put in a very good situation. And always playoffs, it's just a, it's a coin flip sometimes. You got to just want to compete. We're going to probably get a tough team just based on seeding, but um, I think these guys have all the potential in the world to go out and, and compete and win, a, win that first playoff. And after that, just, just a little bit of luck, and we can go as, as long as probably as we, as we want, as long as we have that desire to do it. Wow, good job to everyone participating in soccer. Moving forward in HF News, after next week we'll have Orange Day. Now you may be wondering what even is Orange Day? Well here's everything you need to know. Are you wanting to support a cause that everyone at HF can support? Then join HF High School on October 20th and show your support to stop bullying in school. HF is conducting Orange Day to highlight awareness of bullying and how prevalent it still is in society. It's simple. On Wednesday, October 20th, get decked out in the color orange and wear it to school. Let everyone see that you are in the fight to stop bullying just by wearing orange to school. No one likes a bully, and no one likes to be bullied. So help put an end on it by wearing orange and showing your support. Wednesday, October 20th, HF helps put an end to bullying. Wear orange. Join the fight. Voyager has been one of the main outlets for students to voice their opinions for over 60 years now. The newspaper has had a significant impact on the school, and students have enjoyed being involved in it for several years now. Recently, on Tuesday, September 28th, the Voyager received a grant from Jeff Rogers, the director of the Illinois Press Foundation and the editor of Capital News Illinois, who gave the journalism class a check for $1,200. Uh, I'm Jeff Rogers. Uh, I'm the director of the Illinois Press Foundation. The Press Foundation is the educational and charitable arm of the Illinois Press Association. Rachel Kucharski, the sponsor and teacher for this program, was more than happy to receive this grant. Kucharski has big plans for this money. Some include buying new cameras so her students can photograph more. Welcome! Today is a great day to be a journalism student, right? Rogers Kucharski and a few other administrators spoke at the event to show their gratitude, along with Isaiah Adeleke and Andrew Hale, who are editors in the journalism program. The Illinois Press Foundation generous grant will help us acquire cameras, which our staff will use to further improve our uh, visual story. 
storytelling skills as a journalist on the Voyager for three years and a student of journalism for four. I'm excited for the opportunity to have more cameras in the hands of our staff so we can more accurately seek the truth and report it. Thank you, Illinois Press Foundation, for giving our press this opportunity to tell our school story. Journalism students, it is so important. It's never been more important than right now to tell real stories and, and to use facts. And there's so much propaganda out there that we need people just like you uh, who are thoughtful and, and never give up and, and looking for um, reporting truth and, and having student voice. Uh, your voices matter. And you're the future leaders. You're the ones who are going to take over for all of us. And, and we want to leave this place um, to you and, and I, I feel really good about that. Because of your time here, and it's because of you that Homer Crawford has the reputation it does. And I just want to thank you for all that you guys do every day to make Homer Crawford more great. Uh, and I appreciate everything that not just our staff and administrators do, and our guests, in terms of his generous uh, grant or gift, but also you. So thank you very much. It is good that the journalism program is getting some recognition. It is very much well-deserved and they should be proud of their hard work. For VTV, I'm Kennedy Hardy. This past Friday, on October 1st, there was an unveiling of a new monument in New York City's Union Square. Those were three sculptures of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and John Lewis. In less than 48 hours of the statue standing, the George Floyd statue was vandalized. It was caught on surveillance at 10.15 a.m. October 3rd, a vandal throwing paint at his statue. The sculpture stands 10 feet tall, and these statues also stand as a name and a symbol against police brutality for African Americans worldwide. We reached out to a couple HS students to get their opinions on the statues and how they felt about this vandalism. It makes me wonder if we'll ever really get justice for our people. I feel as though that them vandalizing that uh, statue was very disrespectful and he never even got to know George Floyd and what he stood for and what happened to him. Um, I feel like the person that did that really had hate in their heart because I mean George Floyd didn't do anything any to anybody. I mean you don't see African Americans going around defacing other statues of historical figures. New York State Governor Kathy Hochul spoke out and said that this is an act of hatred, cowardice, and vandalism, and that the criminal will be held accountable. Currently, this is an ongoing investigation, and we plan to keep you updated. For VTV, I am Reagan Lighting. Thanks for the useful news and information. As we mentioned at the beginning of the show, we have an entire new segment that you'll absolutely love. Well, that's only if you enjoy TikTok. Here's the premiere of Finish the TikTok Sound. Our table is broken. <laughs> oh no! Our table is broken! Pink, 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 girls, girls, girls. Glitter, glitter, glitter. Girls, girls, girls. Together forever. We're Linda and Heather. Best friends. Okay, dude. Wow, no way. I don't know. I don't know. Bestie. <laughs> Together forever is Linda and Heather. I'm not saying the last one. Not saying the last Best friend. I've never heard of this before. <laughs> the killer! <laughs> wait, wait, ain't, ain't this like the killer? <laughs> I don't know. He's escaping! The killer is escaping! Help me! Where? Why you being 
sound weird to me. You said you wanted to get married. When I say that. When I say that. When you had the leg up. <laughs> when you had the leg up. <laughs> you had the leg up. 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 <laughs> when you had the leg up. Oh, yeah. Weird. Why you being weird to me? You said you wanted to get married. When I say that, when you had the leg up. People have a stronger connection to TikTok than I thought. What a great new segment. Sadly, that's all the time we have for today's edition of the Friday VTV show. As always, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week for all new episodes of VTV. I'm Siddeley Gabriel, and for everyone here at VTV, have a wonderful weekend. Wow, good job to everyone participating in soccer. Moving forward in the HF news, after next week, we'll have Orange Day. Now you may be wondering, what even is Orange Day? Well, here's everything you need to know. Wow, good job to everyone participating in soccer. Moving forward in HF News, next week we'll have an orange day. After next week, and not in orange.